Hello friends, today we make dual axis solar tracker. Now we start the project. First we open Tinkercad. This is a Tinkercad dashboard. Now search the component. First we search Arduino UNO. Then drag and drop here. Then we have to take photo resistor. You can also say that LDR sensor light dependent resistor. You have to take 4 LDR. Four photo resistor, and now we take servo motor. I have to take two servo motor, one and two, and two resistor, one and two, and now LCD, sixteen cross two LCD. Now we arrange the component and make the circuit. First we arrange the Arduino, rotate the Arduino. If you want to rotate any component, you can click here and rotate this option. Now, we have to put servo motor here and there. And we have to put another servo motor. Put here. This is a photo resistor. We have to connect to the Analog pin. Now we connect the circuit. First, we take the resistor. Also, take four resistor for the photo resistor. Four resistor for using LDR. All the four resistor we have to put the value of 10k. In the LDR sensor, you can see there is two terminals. You can connect any terminal of the LDR sensor. And the second terminal of the LDR sensor connect to the negative of the Arduino. Negative pin of the Arduino. And all the LDR can all the resistors are connected to the negative terminal of the Arduino. And second terminal of the LDR is connected to the positive terminal of the Arduino in 5 volt. This is a 5 volt put the value red and all the LDR connect to the 5 volt now in the same terminal terminal number second we have to connect to the analog pin a0 second LDR connect to the A1 and third LDR connect to the A2 of the A0 A1 A2 of the Arduino also change the color and third LDR connect, fourth LDR connect to the A4 of the Arduino. Now, now we connect the LCD. First we connect the servo motor. In the, this is the ground terminal, go to the ground. Connect to the ground of the Arduino. This is a ground pin and second is positive terminal connect to the positive of the Arduino.
and third is the signal pin. Signal pin connect to the nine pin of the Arduino. Ten pin of the Arduino. Because I am defined in the code of the ten pin. Now second servo motor can positive terminal connect to the positive of the Arduino. Positive of the Arduino. This is positive. And second is signal pin connect to the nine pin of the Arduino. This is 19. This is signal pin. And last one is the ground pin connect to the GND of the Arduino. And with the black. Now we connect the LCD. Ground terminal connect to the ground. Ground terminal connect to the ground of the Arduino. And second is the positive, then connect to the positive of the Arduino. And the third contract contrast connect to the negative, connect to the resistor of 1 kilo ohm and second terminal connect to the negative of the Arduino. RW pin connect to the which pin is resistor select to the 7 pin of the Arduino. Also change the color, then you can identify RW. Read right pin connect to the ground of the Arduino. And E pin connect to the 6 pin of the Arduino. Now shifting the resistor. And the 4 pin connect to the 5 pin of the Arduino. Also change the color, then you can identify it which pin is connected and where. E4, E6, and the last one, E7. The resistor connect to the any of the anode and cathode. Now, positive terminal connect to the positive of the Arduino. Mega red and resistor connect to the cathode pin and second terminal connect to the ground of the Arduino. This is the ground terminal and mega ground. Now start simulate. Now make the code, click on the code section, circuit is completed. Click on the code section, delete this code, go to the block section and select the text then continue and code will paste here the code link also given in description you can download the code and if if you are changing any lcd pin you can change here if i am connected 7 pin of the 7 and 6 pin now all things are right now start simulate 
and see the output. You can see. Click on the LDR to photo register. If the, there is a darkness, if the brightness is there, then you can see servo is operating. Again, next LDR connect, then you can see this servo is operating and angle also is changing. You can see. This is a dual axis polar tracker. If you have any problem, you can comment also. Thank you all friends. Code link also given in description. Thank you.